Hi, my name is Tyler Bragginton, and I'm an Applications Engineer at Hawkridge Systems. This is the first video in a three-part series on creating inspection report templates for SOLIDWORKS inspection. In this video, we will look at how to use the template editor to map attributes to our reports. The first step in creating an inspection report template is to create an Excel workbook with the formatting you would like for your reports. This can include logos, titles, headings, as well as cell formatting. Your templates can also have multiple sheets if desired. Once you've created your layout, you need to save the workbook as an Excel template. Go to File, Save As, and change the file type to an Excel 97 to 2003 template. This is because I'm using Excel 2013, so the default Excel template file type is .xltx, which will not work with the template editor. Specify where I want to save it, and save my template. From here, I will open the SOLIDWORKS inspection standalone to start the template editor. Notice that properties are broken into two main categories here, characteristic properties and project properties. Also, if you would like to use custom properties in either category, you must ensure they are fully defined in an open inspection project before starting the template editor. To begin using the template editor, go to the inspection menu in the top left corner and select template editor. Then navigate to the template you want to work on. This will open the template in Excel along with the template editor dialog. Now, select a cell you would like to map an attribute to. Be sure not to double click as the template editor will not input the string into a cell when you are typing. Now take a look at the available attributes. Document tokens will come from the created Excel file itself. Project properties come from the inspection project and will only list those properties which are in the currently open project. Bill of materials and specification tokens only apply if your inspection project includes those items. Characteristic tokens will have all of the attributes of our ballooned dimensions and notes. Finally, measurement tokens only apply if you're using SOLIDWORKS Inspection Professional and are planning to map your inspection results as well. Let's begin with the part number, which will be a project property. Selecting the attribute from the drop-down menu and then going to insert, we'll map the entire text string into the cell we had selected. Now on export, inspection will know where to place that information. I will repeat this for the revision, the vendor, which is a custom property I had applied in the project I had open, as well as the PO number. I would continue this process for the remaining attributes in my information block. Next, we need to map the attributes for characteristics themselves. This is done the same way, but we select the attributes from our characteristic tokens dropdown. I will fill in the balloon number the type, in this case using the subtype, the specification, which can either be the text value taken from OCR or the actual captured image itself. I'll use the text value. I also want to include the units and the upper and lower limits. We only need to fill in the first row as inspection will automatically continue downward for every balloon characteristic. When we have mapped all of our attributes, we can select finished in the template editor. This will allow us to save the template in a specific location or name. You will want to make sure that if you plan to use both the add-in and standalone versions of inspection, that you keep your template separate since some of the naming is different between the two. I'll save this in my standalone folder utilizing the same name I had with an underscore standalone. Now let's take a look at the template editor for the SOLIDWORKS inspection add-in. From inside SOLIDWORKS, we'll find our template editor on the inspection ribbon. Now I want to be sure to open the original template and not the one which we've modified to work for the standalone tool. Again, this will open the template in Excel, 
but notice that the template editor dialog is slightly different for the add-in. Now we can pull SOLIDWORKS properties directly from the model or the drawing, as well as characteristic properties for the ballooned items or document tokens, which are related to the inspection project. The workflow is the same. Select the desired cell, and then you need to check the radio button for the category you'd like to use. In this case, I'll use a document token for the part number. Choosing insert, we'll place the string into the correct cell for me. Continue filling in the properties like we did with the standalone template, remembering that you only need to fill in the first row for the characteristics. Pressing finished on the template editor will allow me to save this in my add-in folder. That's it for part one of our video series on creating inspection report templates for SOLIDWORKS inspection. Be sure to check out parts two and three on adding conditional formatting for cell highlighting to your report, as well as adding a footer row to your report to ensure it works properly for any size project. Thanks for watching.